I love Harry and Hermione's relationship. It's about true friendship. We wanted to do a scene without words that kind of caught that relationship. There's just something really tender and funny and moving about seeing them try and alleviate the pain, really, by dancing. At the beginning, we choreographed some more with Anthony, and then we felt like on the day, it was nicer for it to be more about their relationship and more natural rather than, you know, twists and turns and lifts and things because it's just not what you do in the middle of a forest, in the middle of a tent, in the middle of the night with two people who don't know how to dance. In the middle of that dancing, they get very close and it starts to get complicated in a way because it's friendship but it almost becomes something else. You can almost feel when they're alone together that it could slip into something that was more than just friendship. And that tension, I think, is really interesting. You know, you forget that these guys are kids. This is a lot to ask of two 17-year-olds. And it's also that moment in the tent is also a bit of a will-they-won't-they moment for Harry and Hermione. If you were on the road with someone just, you know, for a very, very long time, and it's just the two of you, and you get on really well, and... There's always kind of that awkward stage in a friendship where you wonder whether it could be more. And this is kind of that scene for Hermione and Harry. They're kind of on the edge of something where they very easily could have kissed that night because they were so miserable and they, they kind of wanted some kind of intimacy to, to cheer them up. And Hermione is the one who moves away from that situation because she knows that she loves Ron and she wouldn't be true to herself. It's just a nice little scene and it's, uh, it is very, very sweet. They're using a song by Nick Cave called Oh Children, which is a really beautiful and kind of quite haunting song. I heard so many tracks. It was really hard to choose one. And I, I play, played that one and I thought, this is it. This is so it. It's actually got a lot of uh, melancholy in it and a lot of pain, but it's also curiously uplifting. It's really hard to find a piece of music that sort of works it both ways, you know, that feels quite melancholic, but in a curious way feels like there's some healing in it, and that piece does exactly that.